What am I trying to say? Instead, I want you to go into the stat menu and you're going to edit. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Oh gosh, what do I want to do with all that? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever time it is where you are. Welcome to today's Math Minute, probably Tuesday's Math Minute. The only Math Minute guaranteed to be probably on Tuesday and guaranteed to be no more than 10 minutes long. So I'm doing something a little bit different for the channel today. We are going to do a how-to and explainer for how to do something with the TI-84. It is still math related, so for my longtime viewers, uh, worry not. We're still going to do some math today. But if you are here because you just randomly searched out how to do something on the TI-84 calculator, first of all, welcome. Take a look around, like and subscribe, obviously. Second of all, when I watch these explainer videos or how-to videos on YouTube, honestly, I'm almost always annoyed that it's not just written up as a post. So if you, like me, prefer to read as opposed to watch a video on how to do something, if you will just check the description right now, I walk through how it is that I did this. Feel free free to take a look at that description if you'd like to see in words how it is that I'm doing this. Our goal today is to figure out the equation of a line given two points. And of course, if we're doing this by hand, then probably what we're going to do is use our slope equation to figure out the slope of the line that passes through two points, and then combine that with one of the points in the point slope form equation, or otherwise try and use that slope alongside one of the points in your slope intercept form and figure out the equation of the line, work your way backwards to the y intercept. And that's great if you know how to do that by hand. But let's just say that you're in class and you actually have access to your calculator. And let's also say that you're at one of these high schools that even though the TI-84 platform is literally two decades old, let's assume you're at a high school where they're still requiring you to use the TI-84 and you want to take two points and you want to generate the equation of a line. Here's what you would do. So first of all, what are the two points? Let's just say that it's 3 comma 9 and 5 comma 13. They could be any two points, but let's just use those two. Obviously, you might be thinking, well, you know, are we supposed to go to y equals? Are we supposed to click on the graph? How is that we get the two points on the graph? You don't have to do that. Instead, I want you to go into this stat menu and we're going to edit what's called a list l1 l2 etc there are six lists in the ti-84 calculator these are just data sets normally we would use this for scatter plots and i'll show you that in a few minutes but i'll do that after the how-to so that you can piece out if all you wanted to see was how to do this. Normally we type a bunch of data into these lists and we can use them for scatter plots and lines of best fit and uh, correlation coefficients and a bunch of stuff like that. But there's no reason you have to have a ton of points in your scatter plot. You could have a scatter plot with just two points, right? So let's put in three comma nine and five comma, what did I say? 13 I think is what I want. If I go and I make sure in my stat plot that the plot one is on, which it is here, you can see it's going to graph L1 versus L2. Then when I click on the graph up here, you're going to see the two points, right? So that's 3 comma 9. If I zoom out just a little bit, then we will be able to see both of the points. Yeah, there we go. So those are the two points. And of course, what we want is the equation of the line that passes through those two points. So what I'm going to do is go back into that stat menu but I'm gonna go over here to calc and I'm going to perform a linear regression. And I'm gonna pick the first one. You might notice there are two of them here. The one that we want is the one that looks most like our slope intercept form, mx plus b. The only difference here is that instead of m, it's a for the slope and b for the y-intercept. I'll hit enter. Our x list just needs to be that list where we put our x coordinates. So of course that was L1, which is pre-populated here. Our y list is where we put our y coordinates. Of course that's L2. And then from here, you'll want to store the equation somewhere so that we can look at it on the graph. It'll tell us the equation, but this way we can also graph the equation and just confirm that it's going through the two points we want it to be going through. So let's click vars and go over here to y vars, y variables. The functions, that is the ones that you graph, live in the function menu. And let's just store it as y1. And so that's what we put there. And then when we hit calculate, something interesting happens. You'll notice, oh, a equals two, the slope is two here. B equals three, the y-intercept is three. And that would usually, for a random scatter plot with a bunch of data all over the place, just be what we call the equation of the line of best fit. That doesn't necessarily go through any of the points, but it recognizes the trend the best. And the R squared and the R tell us about how close the line of best fit is to all the data. Well, in this case, you can see the R squared and the R are perfect, right? One is the best that you can get because this right now is a perfect line of fit. If your scatter plot has just two points, you simply draw the line of fit between those two points. So this is the calculator's way of telling us, oh, the equation of the line that passes through 3 comma 9 and 5 comma 13 
is actually simply y equals 2x plus 3. If you don't believe me, hit y equals, and you can see it has plugged the equation in there for us already, because remember, we told it to store the regression equation into the function y1. In fact, right now, if we click graph, we can confirm again, yes, our graph really does pass through those two points that we were interested in earlier. So why is it working this way? Well, remember, I said this is essentially the calculator's way of just doing a scatter plot. Uh, let me give you an example, just so you remember, perhaps you haven't seen this before, of what we mean by a scatter plot and how to graph a random, I say random, how to graph a line of best fit that goes through a bunch of data, but not perfectly through two points. If you've done this with the TI-84, then you know this lives in the lists. So if we press second list, we can see our lists, L1 through L6. If we go into our stat menu, we can edit those lists. And you can see here, I've already got a bunch of data in L1 and L2. This is just for illustration purposes, just so you remember what a scatter plot looks like. Uh, we're gonna go to the graph. Obviously, I don't see anything right now. It could be that it's hiding, or it could be that I have not turned my stat plot on. So second stat plot, you can see, oh, indeed, all my stat plots are off. I could turn all of them on, but I'm going to turn just the first one on. So I'm going to hit enter here. I'm going to change this to on, and then I'm going to do second quit to get out of there. Oh no, I still don't see anything because I actually have to zoom out a little bit, right? So I'm going to do zoom, and specifically, I'm going to pick this zoom stat, and this is the way the TI-84 just kind of figures out what the best zoom window is when we're using our lists L1, L2, etc. And I hit that and there's the scatter plot, right? We can get the equation of the line of best fit that goes through these points that recognizes the trend. Obviously right now it's a positive trend, right? We press stat, this time we go over to the calc menu, calculate, and we want to pick either one of the lin regs, probably option four. We hit enter, yes, our x list was in list one, yes, our y list was in list two. Let's go ahead and store the equation of the line in y1 so that we can graph this in a second. Go ahead and calculate and we can see not only, okay, so this has a slope of 162, that random data set that I was using earlier, y-intercept of negative 123. It also has a pretty high correlation, right? Pretty high positive correlation there. And when I click graph, you can see they've drawn the line for us because over here in our y equals window, remember we stored the regression equation into y1. So it's already there waiting for us. So that's how the calculator is taking the two points and returning the equation of the line. It's performing a regression, just like it would be performing a regression with this data set here. But of course, when you have just two points, the coefficient of correlation isn't just high, it's perfect, right? You can think of it as if the line has 100% correlation. And so that is how you can get the TI-84 to give you back the exact equation of the line passing through two points. We're just going to treat the two data points as if they're two points on a scatter plot, and we're going to draw a line of best fit, or have the calculator draw the line of best fit by performing a linear regression. The equation of the linear regression is the same as the equation of the line passing through those two points. So there you have it. I hope that's helpful to you. Um, if it is, like and subscribe. Again, we do these math videos a couple times a week usually, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, depending on the time of year. Uh, if there is something you'd like me to do a video on, make sure to comment down below. And hey, we just finished a giveaway, an amazing giveaway. Congratulations to Ace for winning the signed iPhone 8 box. My students are saying I should give away something else. And do I want to give away, uh, oh gosh, that sound. Do I want to give away a, a broken iPhone pencil? iPhone pencil, no. A broken Apple pencil? I don't know. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Maybe I'll figure out something else to give away. If there's something you'd like me to give away, let me know and I will look into it. If there is some math you'd like me to perform, I'm happy to perform it for you. Let me know, comment down below. Check out the description, like and subscribe, do all the things that the YouTubers tell you to do. Well, not all the things, but yeah, that's it. I'll see y'all around. Clear list, clear list, clear list, stat edit, okay.